Now you'll see that I have a zone and I can tap into that zone and see my status for a number of different attributes. So obviously R4 is the standard. And now we will go through a job flow. So as we can see, we have a job offer. We can swipe down to decline the job offer. And at the bottom, we have an accept button. Now we're in navigation and the job information screen. So as you can see, we can swipe up to see further details, such as the time, the payment method showing cash, the approximate time to pick up, the approximate ETA, the approximate distance from the job, and then we have pick up, the ability to return the job to the office, with the passenger details, and then everything about the fare, payment type as indicated at the top, and the destination. We also have an information button that just has a little bit more information, including the job number and the site, as well as the attribute at the bottom corner. We still have access to the right hand screen for things like bids, zones, bookings, all that sort of stuff, including being able to take a break straight after this job. And swiping back down, we're able to see that we can set this to north. We're able to turn on and off the audio cues for the directions, and we can have an overview of the route. Pressing arrived, we've now got the new screen where we have the fare information at the top, the ability to add waiting time, which as you can see here has a built-in tolerance for the customer of five minutes. And again, we can swipe up to see a little bit more information, including where to no-show, which again, if I put this in, it will probably be too early. And again, we can tap this I for further information. So we'll press on board. Now that the passenger's on board, you'll see that the route is updated. So if I press this bottom right one to overview, we can now see the full job to the drop off as well as the information previously there. Again, we can swipe up for further information. We have the menu in the top corner. And now we've got the updated destination, as well as the updated time of arrival, time to the destination, and distance to the destination. I can also edit the drop off where I'll have a selection of zones or I can search the address. And as you can see up here, we have the tariff or the meter overlaying over the top of the app. And that will be in place regardless of whether we are inside the driver app or outside. This is so that yourself and the passenger can see it at all times. So in order for me to clear this job, I'll have to be near the drop off. So I'll just change the drop off to nearer to myself. As you can see, just by putting in a postcode, we can get locations all across the country. And now I've successfully updated the destination. You'll see that there's an update to this information here, the destination, as well as the approximate time to drop off distance and ETA. Unfortunately, I have to wait another two minutes. So I'll jump back on once we're able to clear the job. Now that it's been two minutes, we're able to end this job. So one for stop trip and then one for end trip. And we have a couple of payment methods, 
and choose cash. And now we have a summary of the job as well as the payment summary. You can see the payment method. You can see the name of the customer, the fare and any extras waiting time that contribute and somewhere that we can input the email address for a receipt.